Caroline's here just showing the scene around Hong Kong. Um, the constant vandalism all over here. Some uh, broken traffic lights completely destroyed and um, caused a lot of innocent people to uh, be in serious threat and a number of people have been in uh, serious traffic accidents uh, in Hong Kong because of this reckless destruction of such a beautiful city. They've written rubbish across the shop here in front of the China Construction Bank. So you might think, ha ha ha, you know, this is just, uh, you know, somehow hurting China or whatever. But in reality, if you look into it, what it's actually doing the most is not hurting mainland China. It's hurting Hong Kong and their positioning in the future economy. And uh, the London uh, Stock Exchange just recently said that they identify Shanghai as their major uh, r bank for uh, st stable uh, trade and finance. It's no longer Hong Kong. So well done for destroying Hong Kong. And how many millions and millions of dollars have Chinese uh, helped uh, Hong Kong prosper and help Hong Kong thrive from their airport to their train system. Did you know 80% of the water that Hong Kong people drink is from China? Including 20, 30, 40% of their electricity and 80% of their water uh, coming from China. Not to mention all the countless billions of dollars the Chinese government has poured into helping Hong Kong become a prosperous city. So shameful, these riotous uh, terrorists. Anarchy? destruction, no order, and economic destruction and separation, isolation from its blessed China who has helped it prosper. This is ridiculous.